So, Carrie, I can't wait to hear from our next roving reporter, but I'm going to just say a little bit before we switch over, because our next um, roving reporter is actually demonstrating living proof today. Everyone will get to see this later in the show. Living proof of like what it looks like to be a mama and an entrepreneur, have a life and a family and a business and, 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 and. So I went ahead over to our very own little fierce mama entrepreneur, Jill Olish. Thanks, Kim and Carrie. This is Jill coming to you as a roving reporter for Good Morning Entrepreneurs with unique solutions for mama entrepreneurs. I wanted to touch on what it means to have rest in your life and how it actually is productive. If you are a mom and you have kiddos in daycare or even a grandparent with kids in daycare, that daycare cold gets passed around and can knock you out. This would be the perfect time for me to not be working or doing something around my house and just hanging out with my son or laying down and relaxing and letting him play independently. I know it's a dream for most of us as moms and even dads and grandparents. I'm sure that most people relate to that as well, especially being a mom entrepreneur. If you're going to be calm and promote rest, the other people in your home will feed off of your energy. You need to take this time to go rest. I was told from the people that I worked with on my team, we've got it handled. And boy, did they have it handled. <laughs> I didn't have to worry about anything. The rest was definitely a positive thing, and I was able to feel more recovered after the week. I was able to take off and be able to get back into the swing of things over the span of another week. I am more focused, and I am ready to rock and roll with my schedule. And what had helped with that is the ability to delegate what I needed to do or felt that I needed to do. So who would I have do all that stuff? I myself do have a support system. I have my husband and my parents where they were able to step in and kind of help out watching my son or taking over some of the responsibilities around the house. And I had my team members for work. I know not everybody has that kind of support system readily available to them. So my recommendation would be when you can't eliminate those necessities of work and or home life. It's going to be what is a necessity? What can wait till tomorrow? And what can you do less of today to add more rest? Being able to Tetris your responsibilities around what's a priority and what's not a priority and what can wait until tomorrow. So just take the time to rest because rest is productive. Back to you, Kim and Kerry. I love it. Thanks, Jillo. Thank you, Jill. So Jill is um, living proof that it's possible to run a business or multiple businesses, have a family, raise littles, like do all the things and still look beautiful while you're doing it. How's that? And Kim, I just want to highlight something Jill mentioned about delegating. When we think we're alone in business, I think Jill has, for me, been that living proof of someone that can still look to delegate to even those that are closest to us. You may not have a team in your business, but there's people in your house that can actually assist you, you know, if you happen to be under the weather and you need extra support around you. And I just love that about Jill actually tapping into those resources that we often forget, you know, those that we live with or perhaps that can drop in are often the ones that drop off the radar pretty quickly. And Jill just highlighted how special that can be if you've got a couple of people around you that can pitch in and help. So, yay. Oh my goodness, yes. And delegation is not easy. Like we have to say that because entrepreneurs are usually control freaky is what I call it. They usually have this place of it's really hard to let go of something. Your business can sometimes feel like your baby. Like it's very important to us. So giving someone else responsibility of it 
is hard sometimes. So she did a phenomenal job of, you know, share, sharing the load. That's what I'm going to call it. Taking the time to rest. And it was hard for her. Can we confess that for her? It was hard for her to do it. Was um was Jill guilty of um, turning up somewhere, Kim? I believe <laughs> we we are telling on her this morning. She is living proof that it is not an easy thing to just suddenly, you know, delegate and be be fine with that. So she did maybe possibly turn up to something, and someone saw her, and someone said something about it. So we just <laughs> want y'all to know on the outside. We can see in the green room, and we're getting some eye rolls, Carrie, from, <laughs> from the green room. Where? Where? I can't see it. I can't see it. We're just not going to look, right? <laughs> well, if you can't see it, it didn't happen. Isn't that a, a good way? There you go, Carrie. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, thank you, Jill, for sharing what you did, because it is important. Rest is productive, and we appreciate you being our little living proof of what mama entrepreneurs can do.